Welcome to Photo Play Paper. I'm Amy Sonneman, and today I'd like to share with you the Dog Lover Collection designed by Becky Moore. This collection includes six double-sided 12x12 papers, ephemera, an element sticker sheet, stamps, coordinating dies, as well as a die sheet, and a color me paper. Let's take a look at each of these pieces one at a time. The first piece in this collection is the collection kit. And the collection kit includes all six papers. You get two of each in the collection kit, as well as the 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. So you get lots of elements and papers to design layouts, cards, and more. This is the element sticker sheet. It is loaded with lots of different elements to add to your paper crafting projects, including this wonderful little dog collar border. It'd fit beautifully on a 12 by 12 layout. There are great stickers to allow you to design some fun titles. You have all of these adorable little dogs scattered throughout the paper. I love the little guy with a cone. It's all fun and games until someone ends up in a cone, right? I just love that. There are dog bowls, toys, different tags. Love this little dog house. A fire hydrant, paws. Lots of words at the bottom so that you can kind of mix them in with your project, which would be kind of fun as well. The first paper in this collection is called Good Dog. And I always love the cut-aparts because you get a large assortment of three by four cut-aparts, including a journaling spot and then two of the four by six cut aparts. The back of that paper features this dark blue with lighter blue dog bones, great for layering. The nice thing about the cut aparts, and I say this with every video, is that you can easily make quick cards, no stamping at all needed, just adhesive, a paper trimmer, card bases, and some of the background paper. I just wanted to share a few of the cards I was able to make with the cut aparts. I added foam tape for a little bit of added dimension. I love this one. Money can buy you a lot of things, but it doesn't wiggle its butt every time you come in the door. Isn't that the truth? I love getting greeted every day by my little pup. This is fun. Good dog with all of the check marks. There should be another checkbox in here that says C, none of the above, on those days that just don't go like you hope. This is cute. Life is rough. Happy Woof Day. Now, I didn't add any extra embellishments to these. You absolutely could. I might go back in and add a little shimmer. I might add some Nouveau Drops to give it a little bit of extra dimension but I did take my black pen and just give it a little bit of outline on most of these. Isn't that sweet little sleeping dog? My whole family has rescued dogs, so rescued is definitely my favorite breed. So these are going to be kept throughout the year to send to my dog lover friends. Hopefully that gives you just a few ideas how to create fun and fast cards with the cut apart paper in your collection. The next paper in this collection is called Woof and it has all of these great stripes that you could easily cut apart and use for borders on a 12 by 12 paper. You can use them for borders on a card. You could easily fussy cut if you like to fussy cut. Wouldn't it be cute to fussy cut these little houses out? I also really have enjoyed the strip of words because if you cut this out and then use the different words separately, it makes great elements on a layout or a card. Definitely take a look at this piece of paper as you're creating layouts because this would be a quick and easy 12 by 12 layout with just fun borders. The back of this paper features this fun woof background in all of the rainbow colors. And I love that because all of the colors here match everything throughout the collection. So this would be great for mixing and matching. This paper is called Go For A Walk. 
And all of these dogs, as sweet as their little faces are, just want to be outside playing in the fresh air, going for a walk. The back side of this paper features these fun little bowls with little dog bones, water bowls, perfect for mixing and matching all of the great colors in this collection. This paper is called In the Dog House for obvious reasons. If you love to fussy cut, these would be absolutely adorable to fussy cut and use as 3D elements in your paper crafting. The back of this paper features a great diagonal stripe, which makes a beautiful paper for mounting for cards as well as photos. So that might be something to consider as well. Since I have grand dogs and no grandkids yet, I confess to spoiling my grand dogs terribly. So all of the things on the dog toys paper are things that I have either purchased and they have destroyed or I have to purchase again so that they can get spoiled when they come to visit. So lots of balls, ropes, chew toys, bones. The back of the toys paper has a wonderful plaid stripe that mixes and matches with the colors in the collection. It's kind of got a more subtle background. A lot of the other papers are bright and bold. This kind of tones everything down a little bit with more of the rust and the navy. Really pretty for mounting and so forth. This paper is called Fetch, which includes all of these great dogs out in the yard, fetching sticks, balls, chasing butterflies, and so much more. So sweet. The back of that paper features a light brown background with tan paw prints. If you love to sit in front of the TV and color, the Color Me Dog Lover paper features 11 different squares that you can color, cut apart, use in a layout or on a card, as well as the little guys over on this side that match perfectly with the dies that come in this collection. So I enjoy just sitting in front of the TV, watching a Hallmark movie, and coloring. It's just very calming and therapeutic, and I love the Color Me papers a lot to be able to just have fun and, and relax for a little bit. I highly recommend it. The last paper in this collection is called dye paper. And what the dye paper does is it allows you to use the dyes in this collection to cut out all the pieces that are pre-colored. So if you don't have time to make a card but you needed one yesterday, this is a go-to piece of paper to be able to make cards quick and easy. We even give you a card that is ready in minutes. Cut out the pieces from your dye paper, add some adhesive, and you are ready to go in minutes. If you notice down here, there is a sample of what the card will look like when it's finished. You can mix up the sayings, you can add a different dog, anything that might be inspiring to you. When you finish the card, it will look like this. How cute is that? Literally, I did this in minutes. It took longer to cut out the pieces than it did to actually glue the card to the card base. So fun. I did use foam adhesive to give it a little added depth and dimension. This collection also features a fun stamp set, which includes all of the little dogs that are so, so sweet, including a ball, a bone, a little tag. The sayings include, Dog on it, I miss you. You're possum. I dig you. You're my best pal. I'm sorry you're having a rough day. How sweet is that? It also includes a coordinating die set that is sold separately. It cuts out not only the stamped images, but also the die sheet that I showed you before. And I'm getting ready to do some cards as gifts for my daughters. And I cut out all of the pieces in the die sheet, just waiting, ready to start assembling cards. Such a fun way to create quick and easy cards to send to your friends. This is the Dog Lovers Ephemera Pack. It includes 26 different ephemera pieces that you see here. It includes lots of sayings, fun hearts, tags, as well as frames, some great cut apart sayings over here. 
I like this. Love is a four letter word. Such a lucky dog. Dog dad, fur mom. Love this little dog bed. This is my favorite. I just want to stay home and hang out with my dog. I think we're doing a lot of that these days. This is fun. Cold nose, warm heart. Lots of elements that you can mix and match with the pieces that you cut out in the dye paper with the dye paper. You can mix and match those easily to create 3D elements and so much more. I hope you have enjoyed the Dog Lovers Collection as much as we did creating it. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. If you like this video, please like, share, and leave a message.